What's going on guys? Football season's back and so are we with episode number three and this time we're going to talk about the all action items page. Let's go ahead and get this started. All right guys, so again, welcome back to episode number three of the Cam's vlog, and today we're talking about the all action items page. Today I'm just gonna go over what it is, what shows up there, and how can we use it to help better ourselves with all those different action items that we wanna keep track of on a daily basis. So let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what is the all action items page? So we have two types of pages that display action items that are specific for you. We have the all action items page, and the my action items page. If the action item is assigned to you in your role and is it a step assigned to you in your role, then that action item is gonna show up in your my action items page. But all those other steps and all those other action items that currently aren't sitting on your task list, those are gonna show up on the all action items page. So this is a great page for us to go to when we're looking for all those different items, regardless of what step in the process they're in. Maybe we want to see invoices that have currently been paid. Maybe we want to see service requests that have already been closed for a specific time period. All those types of things can be found on the All Action Items page. So one thing you're going to notice about the All Action Items page, and actually most pages within Vantica, Vantica is a live Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. We have columns, we have rows, we have cells, and we have values. So if you think about it like an Excel spreadsheet and how we can use those to filter and create algorithms to get those results that we want, you do the same thing in Vantica and it's gonna work the same way. But one of the great things that we can do inside of Vantica is add columns. Don't think that the columns that you see on the screen is what you're pigeonholed to. Absolutely not. Go ahead and hit those three little vertical dots right here and then you can pull up the columns pop-up window and then it's gonna display all the different types of columns that we can go ahead and add. So, a good thing for you regional managers, go ahead and add the portfolio column, and now you can search the all action items list by a portfolio. Maybe you want to find out how many open service requests that manager has. Type that manager's name in the portfolio column, and then search for service requests. I just mentioned adding columns. Well, with that, if every single day you add the same type of columns, like created date, or maybe last note, don't do it. Do it once and then go ahead and hit the cog wheel shown here where you can go ahead and save those grid settings so that every day as soon as you log into Vantica, all those important columns that you add every day will be right there waiting for you and you're ready to go. Another tip that some people forget about is the refresh wheel. So sometimes you're sorting, you're filtering through a list, you come upon something you want to see, maybe you step it or you take action upon that task or maybe you send a new message and you want to refresh your screen. Don't go back, hit the action items page again and reload that whole page. Don't go through that process. Look in the very bottom right hand corner of the page and you'll see a little refresh wheel. That is the quickest and most efficient way for you to go ahead and refresh the information on the all action items page. Even as a manager, you can use this all action items page to search for those invoices regardless of what step in the process they end. So maybe you can't find it because it's not on your approved invoices page. Um, and maybe you don't see it because it hasn't been paid yet. Well, use the all action items page, search for invoices, and then add any of those columns with some of the information that you may have, and we can find that invoice. Don't forget to hit include closed, just in case that invoice isn't a closed step. Few other key features here, let's not forget about the bulk step button. Anytime you wanna step the same type of action item in the same fashion, don't do it over and over and over again. If you've got five service requests that you need to step to complete, go ahead and click the little check boxes for each of those items and then hit the bulk step button. The export to Excel button. This is awesome. This is great for you guys that have those boards that are hands-on and they want those specific types of reports sent to them uh, on what kind of action items are currently open in the system. How many service requests we have. How many invoices have been paid between uh, January and June all that type of stuff you can pull from the all action items page and then hit that export to Excel button to get that information put into a fancy Excel spreadsheet where you can go ahead and email that to the board or whoever's asking for it. All right guys, well there you go. There's the all action items page. There's some great things that you can do with it. Just don't forget, just because you can't find an action item doesn't mean that it's not there. Uh, think outside the box, add some extra columns, use some of that information that you have 
and no doubt in my mind that you guys can find whatever you're looking for on the all action items page. Until next time, we out.